underway with round number one. McNaughton wanted that takedown right away. Didn't even really set it up. Just kind of leaned in, was trying to take this fight to the ground. She did at least get the clinch here, but a knee to the body for the troubles. And McNaughton pushing ahead. Lacey doing a nice job with some body control there, avoiding the takedown and the aggression. McNaughton fires off a knee of her own that connects to the midsection. I thought briefly Cope might be trying to set up that head and arm throw, but wasn't able to execute that. McNaughton now pressing in from the outside. This is a better position for it. Hope still landing those knees inside. Those are doing some damage too, but but not has that left leg. Oh, look at that! Tap! She tap! Was that not a tap with the right arm? It looked like a tap to me in real time, but I think Joe Sullivan may have missed that. And I don't know if Lacey told him that the tap was there. Lifted her in the air again. Look at, look at this! Look at that strength! That is unbelievable. Oh my goodness! And she's gonna try to get the trip. Just dangerous position here. You see Cope still trying to work on that squeeze. Wrenching the neck a little bit. McNaughton toughing it out there. Be anxious. Hopefully we got a, an angle of that. I don't know if that, that right hand was a tap earlier, but we're certainly carrying on at this point. And McNaughton is just, she's got that mom strength, right? Like she's just still pressing ahead after all of that. Trading some inside blows right there while they get pushed up against the cage. Those are landing, both of those landed. Big right hands inside. Look, she's gonna go right back to this choke again. Knees to the body continue. Still trying to work that guillotine in the final seconds here. Action packed round number one between these two. Cope doing a nice job with control. McNaughton unbelievably gritty in round number one. And they're trading punches after the bell. Man, wow. that was a burning first round. I mean, I'm very impressed with both these legs. You got to think that Cope got the better of that exchange, though, obviously, John. Yeah, clearly. She was landing the big shots. Again, had those choke attempts. I thought maybe got the submission. I apologize if I was a little premature on calling that up. I thought that right hand was tabbing, but it was It, it was great a little exchange. I almost thought that McNaughton jumped up at first, but it I didn't like realize it. after we saw it the second time, we saw we saw Cope pull her up, just showing how strong she is to just physically pick McNaughton up with while she had her in that choke. Yeah, you know McNaughton wants to get the fight to the floor, but she's going to have to be very careful not to find herself in that position again. Yeah, really interesting that that entire fight, despite all of the aggression and the throwing each other around, never went to the mat one time, right? The fact they were able to stay on their feet the entire time Take it and down. ended up there Let's as go. well. And when they, when they do find some separation, they're trading leather, too. Round number and two. interesting, Round number no two. stools can be seen in that cage between rounds. Both fighters blue choosing corner, to ready stand. To fight. I like it. McNaughton in the blue, red Cope corner, in the red. Round Here we number go. two, Round and two. we are underway once again. 115-pound women's division and starting with a bang here in round number two. Nice push kick there from Cope. A couple of nice punches as well, but McNaughton right in her face. Watch the fingers in the yeah, eyes. I think Cope wanted to kind of, oh, oh, slipped on the high kick there. Oh, now McNaughton's going to, oh, beautiful little elevator sweep there from Cope to get back to the feet. I was thought McNaughton was going to be able to set him on top, but no. Great scramble there. A straight up Cirque du Soleil move, man. Just body limbs all over the place. Now McNaughton with double underhooks here. She's working from the outside. Cope able to spin off the fence, though. But not definitely not want to give up that neck again. And Look at the, the trip. She got it. Can you see top work. position? She sure can. Fantastic trip. Now, so we can see if McNaught could do something underneath. Show a little bit of that jujitsu. But right now, turning to the knees and working Watch back to the feet. Gets a knee to the belly again. Those knees from Pope tonight are adding up. Yeah, and those punches are starting to add up too. McNaught looked a little wobbly there on that last exchange. Still pressing forward. She's tough as could be, but man, Cope is being precise with her shots. And yeah, we're seeing a couple little mouses starting to form under the eyes of McNaughton, but she's still pushing forward. A lot of fight in this fighter making her debut tonight. Oh, a couple of right handeds landed square, and McNaughton just moved forward as she took them. Unbelievable. Now and she's Cope trying to grab the neck on the takedown. Goes for the takedown. You're right, though. That neck is grabbed up. Doesn't look like she's got Cope in any kind of danger, but still, man, Cope is just pressing ahead. But McNaughton, gritty as could be, Still looking for opportunities to advance, even from the bottom here, peppering the body of Cope. Yeah, beautiful work from the top. Cope clearly in control. Trying to set that arm triangle choke. She's got it in position, but she'll need to switch to the other side. And McNaughton addressing that right now, pulling that That's left work. arm down, creating some space, keeping the pressure off the neck. Cope still trying to squeeze all the way to the end here. 
stop right there. Wow. Very exciting second round and a great fight so far. Cope, in my opinion, definitely up two to nothing on the judges' scorecards, Mahoney. I would have got to think that McNaughton is still in this fight. I mean, McNaughton is pushing forward. She's, I cannot believe this is her very first fight uh, in her career. And both fighters, again, even after two rounds of almost nonstop action, both fighters choosing to stand. I love it. I love, the, I love the mental part of that. Just both, neither one of these fighters saying, nah, I'm not, I, got, I got plenty left in this tank for that third round. You can't let your opponent see that you're the one to take the stool, right? Yeah, you're right. not sitting down. I'm, I'm sitting not sitting down, down either. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll be like, yeah, give me two stools. Then. Give me his stool. <laughs> Let's take a look at the replay here, some of the action from round number two. <laughs> round number three, and once again, we are underway. Cope up two to nothing on our unofficial scorecards, Mahoney. Yeah, and McNaughton, nice uppercut lands right there on Cope. And McNaughton still got a lot of fight, jumping up again. Cope shakes her off. McNaughton trying to press inside, would love to get the uh, fight to the ground, maybe enjoy some top position, hasn't been able to do that so far, but. You know, we said it, how great we thought Cope looked last time out. She's picking up right where she left off. Yeah, she's improved a lot in those two years, that's for sure. And even though she hasn't had a, any official fights under her belt, but... Beautiful can... little single leg, right? Just snatched it up, ran the pipe, put her on her back. McNaughton, I mean, nothing to hang her head about. It's, it's doorway. Look at this. She's clearly down. She's facing a very talented opponent. She's pushing forward. She's swinging back. McNaughton is doing everything you could ask of her. I just think right now, Lacey Cope is just an incredibly talented prospect. I mean, for a, a young fighter making her debut and having this kind of grit when you're down two to nothing in round number three, still looking for ways to finish the fight, I'm very impressed with Cassandra McNaughton, but you're exactly right. Lacey Cope is just on another level. So. Grit is what we're seeing from McNaughton right here. I agree. Looking for that inside trip here again. McNaughton lands on top. Can't you do Great. something special in the final minute here? Look at this, punching away. Big hammer fist. She's got 30 seconds to work, and she's got to do it here. So she's trying to get those hands free so she can rain down the punches. Lacey doing a nice job of tying her up. But again, 23 seconds left on the clock. Not a lot of time to work. She's got the crucifix. She has the arm pinned back. Can she do anything with it? Look at this big right hand. To come from behind at the end. Cope, look at that. And Cope is tying Great up work. her legs. What a beautiful sweep from Cope to get out of a bad position. Final seconds of round number three, and that is the end of the bout. What an incredible exchange between these two young ladies at the end of the third round, John. I, I feel like I need to stand up and clap right now. I that mean, what, leaving it all out there. As we said, I mean, I think Cope is going to walk away with the decision when the judges and the scores are red. But for McNaughton to do that until the very end, man, this is what you're trying to do at the amateur level. Learn, show something. Show something to yourself. You're making your debut against somebody whose family is in the world, who's ingrained into the world of MMA and has been for decades. No question about it. That was a tough opponent for Cassandra McNaughton, but my gosh, pushing all the way to the end. And look, came within a couple of punches here and there and maybe getting that Hail Mary finish. Almost, right? I mean, that was as close as it could get at the end of a third round where the first two rounds have been really dominated by a fighter. For McNaughton to stick in there and, and push like she did at the end and then almost find a way to get the finish, I'm impressed. As I, as I said, grit and we have to give props to uh, Cope because even when she was in that bad position, she showed poise, was able to reverse it there at the end. But just, you know, that you don't see that usually with a fighter with one fight under their belt. Incredible. That's what we said. She impressed us so much the first time around. She impressed us tonight as well. Got to think she's going to get in the judges' nod. But listen, leaving it all in the cage, doing everything you can. That's what both these two women did tonight. That's You can't ask more. And look at that. Raise your hands high, as she should, as she should. Warriors. I mean, what a fantastic fight. Our first ladies fight of the night here at Tough Enough. Just such a thrilling way for these 115 pounders to put on a show in front of a sold out crowd. Justin Bernard is back in the cage right now with your official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, after a three round war, we go to the judges scorecards for a decision. All three judges see it 29, 28, 
for your winner by unanimous decision, the red corner, Lacey Cole. So interesting to see the judges give that last round to McNaughton. I mean, I'm not shocked necessarily. I don't think it's a bad call. Just surprising to see all of the judges go that direction. But congratulations to Lacey Cope on getting a very impressive victory tonight. You talk about a young lady that looks like she's set to go to that next level. I think you'd certainly make a case there. I mean, this is what the future stars at MMA, this is what Tough Enough is all about. These women came to fight, and they put on a hell of a show, John. No question. I think we'll be seeing her on the big stage someday soon. Meanwhile, Senator McNally, hopefully we see her back here Love as well. To, Not ready right? for the big stage yet, but left everything out there, winning the third round against, I mean, come on, you can't do more than that. Man, you know that those kids that got her into mixed martial arts are going to be like, Mom, you didn't get the W. It does not matter. You won tonight. That was a heck of a show. This is Tough Enough, the future stars of MMA. Coming right back on BN Sports.